So let's have a look at the sheet music editor screen. Here's a piece of music which is already in the system. If I either right click on the selected piece and go edit song, or I click on the edit song button up here, it takes me to the screen where I can manipulate and manage the pages that make up that particular piece of music. So these are the 19 pages that make up this sonata. What I can do is I can rearrange the pages, I can change the order of the pages simply by selecting one of the pages and either moving it up, in which case that's now my first page and that's my second page, or moving it down, and I can move it to anywhere in the list here. What I can also do is I can duplicate a page. So for instance, if we had a piece of music where you wanted to go back to page one after page three, I could go to page one, I could duplicate it, it sticks it at the bottom, so we've now got two copies of page one, and I move that back up the list into position four, so I've now got that page, and then back to that page. So I can take a page and insert it back into the list of the pages that make up the piece of music. What I can also do is I can modify any of these pieces of music. If I select a page and then click on the Modify button here, it takes me into an editor where I can do things like change the brightness and contrast of the page. I can auto de -skew it, I'll tell you more about that later, I can rotate it. But more importantly, I can also crop parts out. So for instance, if I didn't want the title appearing here, I could select the area I want, and let's just take that down to there, and go Crop, and then save that. So I've now got my page one, and then my page one again, but without the title at the top, in my piece of music. So you can duplicate pieces of music, you can modify the pieces of music, you can move them up and down to rearrange them, and you can also delete pages. So once you've done that, you click on the Save button, and that saves it, and it now modifies that piece of music. So if we bring that up full screen, there we have the first two pages, and puts in that page there. Okay, let's press Escape to come out of here. We'll have some more to say about this screen when we're entering sheet music either from PDF, scanner, or from images.